Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Have another really great day. This video, I've decided to do another theoretical test of a typical person buying a mining rig today. It is July 20th of 2022. I am taking one of my mining rigs, which is the 3070 Founders Edition rig that's in a single Octominer case right now. And I am going to do a test as of right now, if someone theoretically bought a mining rig today, and we are going to see when we could initially get our initial investment of $5,000 back. This video is inspired by you guys that I did yesterday, according to my initial investment on another mining rig that I theoretically was doing back in May 21st of 2021. All right. When 3060 TIs were around 1600, 1500, $1,300, uh, depending on the model. All right. This video that I did of building a 3060 TI mining rig, I did this because I wanted to see for those that were building mining rigs during this time when Ethereum was, you know, $4,500, Bitcoin was 60K or something like that. Mining profitability was extremely good. So this video that I did yesterday is what I wanted to do in today's video, but the opposite. Okay. So instead of uh, this rig that was built during the bull run, okay, during the, I guess when times were really good. And now this is going to be a fun test just to compare building a mining rig in a bear market and then versus the other mining rig that I did in the other video yesterday. So hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm going to talk about some stuff here. So before I begin, this video is sponsored by Octo Miner knows that right now the crypto market is down a lot, so they are throwing another sale because why not? They manufacture the best mining rigs in the industry and supply rigs to some of the largest GPU mining farms around the world. On average, they manufacture 2,000 to 4,000 rigs per month and currently around 2% of the total Ethereum net hash rate is running in Octominer rigs. They are also an official AMD blockchain partner. Starting July 25th and going through July 29th, use the code OCTO10 dash 072922 on checkout to get 10% off your entire order on their website. Please reach out to them at support at octominer.com for any questions. Okay, so the video that I did yesterday about I didn't get my initial investment back on my $11,000 mining rig yet. In case you didn't see that video, highly recommend go watching it. I exported all the Ethereum payouts that I got when I first started mining on that rig back in May 21st of 2021. And it shows the historical price of Ethereum at uh, the day of uh, the, the transaction, what it was worth, okay, at the price at the time. And I did theoretical scenarios of when if I sold the day of and then thus hodling the crypto versus hodling the crypto and seeing if I were, you know, what which scenario was better. But ultimately, either scenario, I still did not get my initial investment of $11,000 back yet, okay? Yet. That is if, you know, the next while, if we hodled, which I'm still hodling this crypto of that $11,000 mining rig is when I could maybe get that money back. But that's if Ethereum potentially goes back up to what, let's say $5,000, $6,000 or something, a little bit of hopium there. But hey, that's a big risk. And that's something that I have done in previous, you know, bear markets and bull runs, mining throughout the bear market, you know, maybe buying hardware back in 2017, 2018. Same thing for those that kept mining through the thick and thin and waited for the last bear, uh, bull run that we had in 2021. And you ROI'd or broke even like 10 times, right? You got your money back tenfold. And I can attest to that. I have many rigs that I, I built during this time and they basically got their money back tenfold. But now is kind of a different landscape because Ethereum is moving away from proof of work to proof of stake. And that is something that is going to transpire soon, potentially in around September. Okay. So we will see if that is going to come to fruition or not, or if there may be issues in the Gourley testnet for the merge essentially. So anyways, guys, going back to the rig that I am basically sacrifice here, it's not sacrificing, but I'm taking it off my main Ethereum wallet and I am moving it to a new brand new Ethereum wallet that you guys can see here 
on Ethermine. So we're going to see how much Ethereum all the way up until they move to the merge, if that ever happens, then we will come back to this and see how much it's mined till then. And of course, see if we can theoretically get the initial investment of $5,000 back. So just real quick, before I talk about the numbers here and electric and all that stuff, I am mining to a singular wallet, okay, on Zalcor. So this is where I will show you guys exactly how much Ethereum we will mine here, as well as um, like Ethereum Explorer, and we'll do all the math there once we, I guess, where we cannot mine Ethereum no longer. And then we'll most likely, most likely ever, if the merge happens, if the merge comes, I will then no longer be mining Ethereum. We will probably be switching the 3070s on to another coin, okay? like. Ravencoin, maybe Firo, maybe Ethereum Classic, or Flux, you know, notably Flux, maybe Ergo. Uh, one thing, though, is Zalcor does not have Ergo, so that's kind of kind of a bummer. I did want to mine Ergo on this rig, but I, what I essentially want to do is keep everything in one wallet so it's easy to track how much of the coins we have here and when we can theoretically see if when we can hit that you know, $5,000 mark of the, you know, breaking even on all of these, of these parts here. So eight 3070 Founders Editions and one Octominer X8 Ultra. I put $1,000 here. And so that's how I got to the initial investment of $5,000 as of today. Okay. So if you were to buy, you know, these parts today, that's how much they would cost, right? So if you go to Best Buy right now, you can buy it at MSRP of like around $500 or the used market. It's, around there 400 500 dollars i've seen some people sell 3070s for 400 sometimes 350 if you buy in bulk but i'm just going to do it as a theoretical test here right i have to stress that because the last video that i did uh, yesterday a lot of you guys were saying like red panda you're an idiot why'd you buy this rig for 11 grand why'd you buy these gpus for 15 1600 dollars and guys i have to tell you that i didn't i didn't okay that that what i was doing this video that I did was just all theoretical here. What I wanted to do is see if people that bought rigs during this time, that if we could see that if they could get their money back after however long. And that is why I was doing this test. That is why I did this video just to export all the numbers of when I got all my payouts and just do, you know, like a real world test here of a general miner out there in the wild that is mining and seeing if they initially got their investment back. Okay, that's why I'm doing these videos and that is why I am doing another test here, but notably during the bear market that we are in right now during the lower times of Bitcoin, uh, recession, uh, after effects of the pandemic, uh, interest rates are rising, after effect of the stimulus packages that happened. And so we're going to see what happens. This is a test that I've done on many different rigs before, like even GPUs. I've done ASICs before. All of my ASICs videos that I've done, they've essentially broke even, got their money back, and then some. Mining rigs that I bought in the previous bear market, like 2019, 2020, they paid for themselves many times over. And so I'm not trying to brag here, I'm just doing another test here, just to see, because the landscape is gonna be different this time, as mining Ethereum is only going to last up until potentially this September, okay? So we're not quite sure how much longer that's gonna be, unless there's some major issue, major, uh, you know, error, whatever, code issue, whatever. We're not quite sure. But the biggest thing here is that mining Ethereum is not going to last forever, right? And so we're going to have to mine some other coins here, maybe like Neoxa, maybe Conflux, Ravencoin. But like I said, I'm going to try to mine the coin that is in my, uh, in the Zalcor wallet. Hopefully Zalcor will add Neoxa, Conflux, or maybe they might have Conflux already. Uh, but anyways, uh, no, it looks like they don't, but ah, uh, that's too bad. Anyways, yeah, so I'm just doing this so that we could see what will transpire in the next while here. I will keep you guys updated, obviously. Of course, we will factor in the electrical price here of, uh, you can see it, the math here. I'm not going to read it all out here. You guys can just read it here. So the whole rig is taking about 1,050 watts at the wall, okay, as uh, in Hive OS here, Octominer does show the true at the wall power, okay, of 1,050 on these 83070s okay mining ethereum we're just gonna mine ethereum and see how much we get and uh of course you know we'll see when we can roi or break even on this rig okay my friends so yeah that's it that's all i wanted to do obviously i'm mining and hodling for the future 
that is the same idea that I have done with many of my other rigs and they have eventually gotten their money back, their initial investment back. Okay, I've done this on many other rigs, but of course with this, you know, $11,000 mining rig, after 14 months of mining, it hasn't gotten its money back, but that's after only 14 months. Now, if you're considering this, uh, which I forgot to mention in that video yesterday is if you're, can, you know, you're obviously doing this as a business and, you know, trying to ROI or get your money back on a typical business is average of three years. So for some of the comments that I was reading here, a lot of people were very short sighted and thinking that, hey, you know, mining is dead. Mining is, you know, didn't make me any money at all. But a lot of people forget about the yields and also forget about the market cycles and maybe not forget, but maybe just don't understand on the fact of hodling the coin in hopes of price appreciations of whatever coin that you're mining. That Ethereum is an example where, you know, when Bitcoin goes up and generally Bitcoin brings up the rest of the market, like altcoins, and then when like the market goes down, then the dominance of Bitcoin goes up and the altcoins uh, start losing their dominance during the bear markets. But that's neither here nor there. I'm not a trader or anything like that. We're doing this test because we are mining whatever is the most profitable coin. And we're going to see when we can get our initial investment of $5,000 back, including the electric, okay, which I put here $71.70 a month, okay, at 0.095C, which is my electrical cost, okay? So we're going to see when that happens. I will keep you guys updated, obviously. And uh, yeah, you guys, it's publicly available here and uh, you can see it here mining. And I'm getting about 500 mega hash, almost 500 mega hash reported on Ethermine. I just started. So it's July 20th of 2022, and we are going to see how long it's going to take. All right, my friends, let me know your thoughts down below. Give me your estimate, guesstimate of when you think I will eventually, uh, we can get our initial $5,000 investment back on this mining rig. It's to say for one person, for example, if they were to buy this today, July 20th, 2022, and start mining today. I want to know your guys' thoughts. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.